Okay, in this part I'm going to start doing the rim lights and I'm uh, mostly will be looking for for those reference from uh, Uncharted to do the skin pores and to see how the light act uh, will act on the skin. So now I'm blending a little the uh, the photo skin with uh, the um, the render. I make a in Keyshot a render of the face of the Genesis uh, 3 and I'm going to use it as a, a reference to make additional highlights. Uh, the pour brush will play a major part to do this because you have to maintain the, um, the texture quality so it's only a matter of painting the, the um, with the shock brush uh, painting the light and then erase or smudge with the, the pour brush And to do this kind of effect, I strongly advise you to watch, uh, if, uh, to look for reference. I cannot stress enough how important it is to uh, use reference for this kind of illustrations and to give a really realistic feel.
So for the rim light, I create a new light, a new layer, excuse me, and I start to paint with uh, a white color and using the shock brush. Uh, sometimes I make a group only for the rim light because they are a huge part for this illustration and they will play uh, a major role of, to uh, show the silhouette of the illustration and, silhouette of, and uh, pop, make pop up the face. Um, and the only, the only thing you need to do is to paint your uh, the shape of the rim light and try to see where the light, the parts where the light is stronger. So you need to consider the texture of the face and uh, the shape. And it's only a matter of uh, smudging and erasing with the, the brush tool. This is how you get that uh, uh, high quality effect for the rim light. And now I'm using as reference the rim light from the 3D render. And I think that it's going to be pretty useful to add additional details and make more, uh, to show more the shapes of the face.
So now for the uh, textures, I I found this texture textures from Shutterstock, and I'm only going to use a small portion of them. So it's not uh, really a problem to use uh, small uh, photos for this because I know that I'm going uh, these dirt textures are really um, going to be subtle. Uh, on the face, but they are going to serve as a guide to make more dirt. So I don't need to to be to have a really high resolution for those uh, textures. Uh, 